what the hell he's doing. He did, I don't think he ever saw me. Well, good afternoon, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just about to head out to get my inspection sticker. I apologize for only having one camera today. I don't I have my other one in the trunk. I did not put it on the handlebars, as you can see. And I don't even know why I'm making this video other than I'm curious to know where you live, what your requirement is for state inspection stickers. In Texas, you have to have the inspection done every year. I think on a new vehicle, it might be good for two years, but I don't think it was on the motorcycle because I remember having to get one last year, but I think on a car, it's good for two years. But I, you know, I don't really remember. But uh, last year, there's a place right around the corner for me, a place called Christian Brothers. And they did the inspection for me without even having to ride the bike. Uh, basically, just check my lights, my horn, you know, all the turn signals, everything like that. And I was done. Now, in Texas, you no longer have a separate actual that was nice I don't know what that bump was you no longer have a separate sticker a piece of paper that goes on your bike you used to have a sticker that used to go on a front fork or used to put it on our license plates I uh, used to have a little license plate holder that had a place for an inspection sticker but they got rid of that now you just have the on a car, you have your registration tag that goes in the window. And on a motorcycle, it's just a little tiny sticker that goes on your license plate. But when you go to renew your registration or your, uh, I guess it'd be like your license plates. In Texas, your license plates and your registration are the same thing. But when you go to do that, they check the database to see if you've had your vehicle inspected. And uh, so when these guys over here, if they do the inspection today, they will enter it into a database and I should be able to go home online and immediately uh, get my new registration. Now in Texas, it's about $15 for the inspection and it's about $55 for this Goldwing for the annual registration for the license plates. So I'd be curious to know, put in the comments down below, what are you paying in your state? What do you pay for your inspection and your registration or your license plates, whatever they call it in your state? What are your requirements? Here in Texas this year, it's about $55 for the Goldwing. It's another 50 some dollars for my Bush Tech trailer because we have to have registration for the trailer too now we don't have to have them inspected the trailers do not require inspection and I'm going through a parking lot here just because it's easier than me having to get out on a street I'm, this isn't really a shortcut but it's just easier for me a way to get to this place so I'm just going through the, all these parking lots uh, kind of a back way you might say to get to the uh, Christian Brothers This place is just so close and so convenient. I just hope they'll do it again. Because last year they didn't even know if they could do it. How's it going? So get up to about 20 miles per hour, and once you get to me, start breaking. Okay. Pull up to the first bay and park 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. Is it that way? I'm sorry? Okay. Uh, let's see, where am I? I'm on the wrong side. Okay. Well, it was actually only seven dollars. I swear to God, I used to pay fifteen or twenty, twenty-five dollars for this, but inspections have gone down the last few years for some reason. I don't know if they're padding it into the registration fee or what they're doing. But seven dollars only took about 15 minutes can't complain about that now I will uh, head back to the house and another exciting day here at cruise man's garage that's why you always want to subscribe and you just don't want to miss any of these riveting life-changing videos so make sure to put in the comments down below about your state inspection, what the cost is. Here it's $7 now. And my registration uh, license tags are uh, 55 I think. 55 or $56, something like that. So man, that's about it. I've got a lot of other videos I've worked on. I've been putting out a lot of videos the last couple of weeks, as you, as you may have noticed. The video on that... Uh, yeah, everybody seemed to like the coffee and comments video. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He did, I don't think he ever saw me. You know, that's pretty common. You know, parking lots are the most dangerous place to ride because of shit like that. I should have honked my horn. I really regret now that I didn't honk my horn because he could have gunned it when he was backing up and it would have been a bad situation. That was my fault, totally on me. I know I'm gonna hear in the comments about how I should have honked my horn and you're right, I should have. Um, I just felt like he was stopping and waiting on me. He probably felt like I had stopped and was waiting on him and uh, fortunately it all worked out okay today but stupid crap like that can really put you in a world of hurt but I take it that was totally on me I should not have taken the risk to go behind that truck after he had started to pull out my bad I will try to do better the next time. You know, before I was talking about how my, uh, uh, everybody liked the coffee and comments video. So we'll be doing more of those in the future. Uh, also, I got a really good response on the uh, Skosh Power Up 700 video. A lot of you have ordered that product from Amazon.com. And I think some of you may have even ordered it from somewhere else. I think they actually ran out for a while because you guys ordered so many. So that was a popular video. And this uh, little uh, garage seat, this Pro Gear race seat that I have now in my garage, which I'm really starting to love. I, I can't wait to get out and sit in it and you work on it some more. It's been pretty cold the last few days. But I'm going to be uh, doing some uh, 
detailing videos, washing, degreasing, and I'll be working out in the driveway. And I'm going to use that little chair while I'm working on the bike and when I'm going to even do some work on the car because it needs a, a good wash too. So I've got a new product coming in that I can't wait to test and show you. I just got a whole bunch of stuff in, uh, detailing products that we're going to be reviewing. And uh, man, I tell you what, I bet I've got another 10 videos stacked up that I've got to do. In fact, I'm going to be heading into the studio as soon as I get back to shoot a couple of a little scenes that I'll be editing. It may be a few days, but we will have some more videos out for you real soon. Uh, some bike detailing, washing, how to wash your bike, how to maintain your paint, take good care of your paint, your wheels, your tires. We're going to go into all that kind of stuff. Doesn't matter what kind of bike you ride, this stuff will apply. Whether you ride a Harley, a BMW, a KTM, Yamaha, Suzuki, it doesn't matter to me what you ride. We're going to show you things that can help you uh, work and maintain your motorcycle. I've got a couple of dogs out here playing in the yard. It's cute. So anyway, thanks again for joining me today. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlogs.